Welcome back to AI War. This is the second five minutes of the game we started before. Uh, as you can see, everything is like we left it. We've still got some uh, cruisers, bombers, and fighters being produced. Um, now, you might notice the very first thing here, we've got enemy fighters that are coming in uh, in another five minutes or so. Um, that's going to be trouble. We're going to want to defend against those guys because otherwise they're going to just pop in here and you know, start routing around between all those metal and crystal harvester points that I built, destroying all of it. Um, Alright, great. Case in point, uh, one little lone laser gatling has wandered into the planet and he is <laughs> off to go destroy something. Looks like he's after uh, this particular uh, metal harvester right here. So I'm going to go on and just build a turret right there that will hopefully take care of that guy. Um, now, um, oh, that's going to be out of range. Alright, well, now, we've also got, ooh, some cloaked enemy ships of some sort that are coming in. Uh, that could be space planes, that could be raptors, that could be autocannon minipods, we don't know. Um, there's a couple other types as well. What I'm going to go on and do at this point, so we've got four wormholes coming into this planet, and I would really like to know which ones do I need to defend specifically right now. So I'm going to go to my science lab, go to the defense category, and unlock advanced warp sensor. Um, now at my space dock, or excuse me, at my command station, at the defense tab, I'm going to build an actual warp sensor now that I've unlocked them. Okay. Great, I got all sorts of mess wandering into my planet here. This is why you need good wormhole defense, especially on the higher difficulties. We're playing on difficulty 7 here, which is not the highest, but it's, you know, <laughs> getting more difficult. The AI uses most of its tricks once it's at uh, difficulty 7 and actually even below that. Um, <coughs> so, what we've got as the radar coming in here. If I want to know a little bit about the radar, I can hover over him on the sidebar here so I can see that, okay, he's uh, particularly weak against bulletproof fighters, regular fighters, raptors, and parasites. Okay, so let's uh, make sure that we've got some fighters on hand then. Um, I do. So let's go ahead and send those guys up there. I'm going to go on and do an attack move with them which turns their borders yellow and that uh, makes them follow anybody that they start shooting at um, assuming that they notice and actually do start shooting <laughs> okay now alright got some ships warping in from ESEC I can tell that because it's turned maroon thanks to the uh, advanced warp sensor and some coming in from Aonu okay great so, I'm going to build turrets specifically right around them. Also going to want to send actual military ships over there too. We'll do that in a minute. Okay, whoops, my energy is getting low. I need to build a reactor. So I'm back over here to my central place and I will build... I'm just going to build a small one at the moment because I'm kind of poor on crystal. So. Um, it doesn't produce as much, it's not co as cost effective, but I want that crystal for some tractor beam turrets. These will grab enemy ships that come into the planet. Uh, each tractor beam grabs up to five enemy ships, and that's really useful in preventing them from just running all over my planet. Alright, great. So, that is not long enough range either, of course. Got yet another laser gatling roaming around here and apparently I've got an autocannon minipod somewhere too uh, or that's an autocannon minipod? that's one of my scouts hey <laughs> that's not very nice one of those scouts that I sent out a long time ago has returned uh, apparently the enemy has parasites which means that they captured it and now, like a good zombie, it's come back to terrorize its former master. Lovely. Well, 
is not exactly doing a lot of damage. It is, after all, a scout drone. But, uh, regardless, I'm going to take it out because I don't like being shot. <laughs> Who does? Alright, build a space dock over here because uh, I don't want to be sending guys from my main space dock quite that far. Uh, it's just not going to be a very effective way to try to defend myself. I will send these guys on over to my main space, or to, to this nearer wormhole. Now over here, I'm also going to go and build an engineer. He'll help speed up this space dock, but then he'll also uh, help it produce ships faster, which is important because I have now 45 seconds until this next first until this first wave of stuff arrives. All right. That's the bad thing about fighters; they really don't have a very long range, so it can be a challenge to have them uh, actually find a target to hit. So. Um. <coughs> Likewise, all right, well, that thing's pretty much dead. All right, I'm going to gonna send these fighters, I'll send them here. So these guys are heading straight down there. Great. All right. And let's start cranking this out. Oh, boy. Here came the first wave. Looks like a bunch of fighters in particular. My bombers are going to be particularly apt at taking those out. So here come my bombers. The blue lines are the tractor beams holding them. Alright. I don't think all of them are held by tractor beams. Up oh, there came a raider through. Raiders are immune to tractor beams, so they can pose a real big problem even if you don't have, uh, even if you're well defended. Okay, great. Raptors are what came through here. Those are the cloaked ships. So, let's see. Those are weak versus cruisers. Great. Which I don't have really being built here yet. I'm going to switch this. No more bombers, no more fighters. Just cruisers, please. And naturally, I have fighters arriving here as well. Alright, so there's my first cruiser. It's firing after a raptor that's gotten away. Now that guy's going to recloak in a minute, and then I'm not going to be able to see him. So, not sure where he's headed. It looks like he might be headed right here. Um, if that's the case, let's go ahead and switch this to building just cruisers just for the moment as well. And I'm going to just send them up to like right here when they're built. Alright. We're down to one dangerous ship left here, which would be that lone raptor that made it through, that escaped through there. As you notice, there's no sign of him either on the planetary summary or on the actual map when I scroll, scroll around. He's gone cloaked again. Uh, they can't fire while cloaked, but uh, after they fired, they can recloak after just a little while. Short on energy again. I'm building too many ships, and I didn't build a very nice energy reactor. I'm going to go on and build another couple of the little ones, because I'm still pretty poor in crystal. Um, Alright. That sounded like somebody firing. Well, apparently something came through a wormhole. Um, eventually, there he is. Okay. So there's my raptor well, the enemy raptor that's harassing me. So I'm going on and routing a variety of my cruisers over to take him out. Cruisers themselves have pretty long range, so they don't have to get right up next to him, which is nice, because they're also pretty darn slow. That's their range right there. That may not look like a lot, but when you're zoomed in, you know, it's, it's pretty vast. So... Uh, that just goes right there to kind of show the scale of even just one of these 80 planets a bit. Come on, cruisers. Alright, they're almost in range. And there we go, the fires. Oh, there he is. Alright, that'll do it for our second five minutes, which actually turned into nine minutes because we got interrupted by incoming enemy waves. Now we should have a nice little break between having to deal with incoming enemy waves and actually pursuing what 
we're interested in trying to achieve, so we'll focus on that next time.